It's like nothing I've ever imagined. Deserts, covering approximately one-third of the Earth's surface, may seem barren with endless sand and scorching sun. However, these vast landscapes conceal mysterious and unexplained phenomena. Join us as we reveal 20 of the most amazing and unique discoveries that have long been hidden from our eyes. Number 20. Atacama Humanoid in 2003, an extraordinary discovery in Chile's Atacama Desert set the paranormal world abuzz. An impossibly tiny, mummified humanoid just six inches in height, with an elongated bulbous head and alien features. Dubbed the Atacama Alien, or Ata, the bizarre mummy was unearthed near a deserted town, quickly sensationalizing theories about its extraterrestrial origins given the obvious physical abnormalities. The specimen ignited intense public curiosity and debate over whether this was definitive evidence of alien life. Early genetic tests even surfaced murky inconclusive results, adding to the mystery. Photos of the creepy, alien-like being spread widely, with many unable to believe this was simply an ancient, preserved human. Speculations swirled that it was a tragically malformed premature birth or surviving remnant of an unknown species. After over a decade of keeping the world guessing, advanced DNA sequencing finally provided concrete answers about the Atacama humanoid's identity. Analysis of the mummy's bone marrow extracted viable genetic material that confirmed it was unequivocally human, likely an anencephalic female fetus. Though disappointing paranormal enthusiasts, this revelation illuminated the scientific process's power to eventually unravel even bizarre mysteries through reason and technology. Number 19. The Anunnaki Tablets According to ancient Sumerian cuneiform tablets dating to 1800 BC, a superior race of deities named the Anunnaki arrived from the heavens to genetically alter early humans to serve them as slaves. While dismissed as myth, the Anunnaki accounts read like scientific reports of advanced visitors mastering genetic engineering millennia before our current biotech revolution. The clay tablets, discovered in the ancient desert region of Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, vividly detail these godlike extraterrestrials splicing animal traits into the evolving human genome to fashion ideal beast of burden laborers out of primitive hominids. Mesopotamia, often referred to as the Cradle of Civilization, was a fertile land nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, where early human societies flourished and left behind a rich tapestry of history and knowledge encapsulated in these ancient tablets. The temple carvings show reptilian humanoids teaching early man writing, farming, and other foundations of civilization under their dominion. Of course, mainstream scholars attribute the vivid accounts of the Anunnaki to creative myth-making, not literal histories. However, uncanny parallels exist between Sumerian knowledge of galaxy clusters and descriptions of DNA manipulation. How could such concepts arise at humanity's dawn without outside intervention? Whether revelations from the stars or conceptual breakthroughs far ahead of their time, the Anunnaki tablets exemplify the human yearning to connect our past to cosmic influences from above. Number 18. The Taklamakan Mummies in China's desolate Tarim Basin, archaeological excavations have uncovered hundreds of remarkably well-preserved mummies dating back 4,000 years. But the bigger mystery lies in analyzing their now-obvious European and Caucasian features so far from their Western homelands. How did these people end up buried in the Taklamakan Desert of ancient Asia? The desiccated bodies found in the arid desert climate sport distinctly Western racial phenotypes, including reddish-blonde hair, light eye colors, and Celtic-style wool clothing. Genetic and linguistic analyses confirm the mummies descended from Indo-European tribes in West China and Europe centuries before the Silk Road opened. Archaeologists now believe Bronze Age Europeans were traversing through Central Asia long before previously assumed. These nomadic groups carried their genetic lineages all the way to the Far East, where some eventually settled in the Tarim Basin area. This sheds light on how Indo-European influences reached China much earlier, likely contributing to Tocharian scripts and languages that permeated the region before the Hunnic conquests. Modern political sensitivities try to downplay this European ancestral connection, preferring narratives of continuous Chinese racial cohesion rather than foreign migrants populating its far western fringes millennia ago. Yet evidence speaks volumes from these desert sands about early global human migrations 
and cultural intermixing often glossed over in pursuit of nationalist myths. The ancient tapestry of humanity cannot be easily untangled across the endless steps and corridors that linked our ancestors. Number 17. Horned Kangaroo Skull Among the fantastical bestiary of creatures that have inhabited Australia over the eons, none seem more bizarre than the horns that once protruded from an ancient kangaroo's head. In 2002, paleontologists unearthed a well-preserved fossil skull showing a long curved horn above each eye socket. Unlike the smooth heads of modern kangaroos, dating estimates place this unique horned kangaroo specimen between 200,000 to 500,000 years old, meaning it lived well after marsupials evolved, but before megafauna largely disappeared. Scientists speculate the horns helped attract mates and intimidate rivals, though their exact purpose remains speculative. Regardless, it expands theories on the creative flourishes of natural selection down surprising evolutionary paths. Herbivores often develop horn-like structures for defending sparse resources or jousting during mating contests. In Australia's harsh Pleistocene ecosystems, the pressures of survival yielded drastic adaptations like the iconic platypus bill, echidna spurs, and now a kangaroo's devilish cranial projections since faded away. It seems where nature cannot furnish external weapons, it sculpts elaborate ones out of bone and flesh. Number 16. Mummified Dogs in ancient Egypt, animals were deeply revered as incarnations of gods and guides to the afterlife. This sacred status led to the mummification of countless cats, birds, and millions of dogs found buried in special catacombs beneath the desert sands. The massive scale of ceremonial dog mummification illuminates the significance of these creatures in spirituality and death rituals. In the vast Saqqara necropolis south of Cairo, Archaeologists uncovered a network of underground tunnels and chambers containing the remains of nearly 8 million dogs and puppies, mummified as offerings to the jackal-headed god Anubis. They were given elaborate burials honoring their role as intermediaries, easing passage to the next world. This enormous puppy necropolis was just one of many built throughout Egypt for mass canine mummification. The god Anubis safeguarded cemeteries and oversaw embalming procedures making dogs central to ushering souls into the afterlife. Devotees donated dogs as eternal tributes requesting favors from Anubis through the worshipped animals. Their spirits were believed to advocate for humans based on offerings provided. Number 15. Stuart Giant A geoglyph of truly monumental scale christened the Stuart Giant, etched silently into the emptiness of Western Australia's desolate plains. First glimpsed from the air by a plane in 1998, the prodigious man-like outline measures over four miles tall, with a perimeter spanning nearly 30 miles. This makes it readily visible only from high above, with its behemoth proportions dwarfing the terrain. The Stuart Giant displays a hunter holding a throwing stick, likely representing early Aboriginal peoples of the area. However, this colossal figure was not the indigenous clan's handiwork, but rather mysteriously appeared around 1998 before any media or public notice. After eventual reports of the glyph, analyses confirmed the extreme precision required to render such clear large-scale lines in relation to anatomical accuracy. The perfection strongly indicates aerial methods like GPS to imprint the giant, but strangely no records exist of the apparatus or team that could have accomplished such a grand feat recently. The archaeological context also argues against an ancient origin for the glyph. The valley's harsh desert conditions would quickly erode away exposed lines over decades, let alone centuries. Regular restoration is needed just to maintain its current form, and since no tracks or activity remnants surround the figure, its manifestation remains an enigma. No groups have come forth with definitive explanations of how they orchestrated the Stuart Giant, neither in modern times nor in the distant past. Number 14. Handbags in Sumerian Art Handbags are a common sight in today's world, but the intrigue takes a fascinating turn when we delve into ancient Sumerian art. Picture this, gods and goddesses proudly clutching mysterious handbags in scenes that traverse centuries of carvings, sculptures, and pottery in Iraq. The bags appear in the possession of major deities like Inanna and Marduk, indicating an importance not merely as fashion accessories, but also conveying symbolic meaning the ancients readily understood, but modern scholars can only guess at. The handbags are rendered in shapes ranging from small pouches to larger satchel styles, sometimes elaborately decorated, or featuring intricate straps. Given their association with powerful celestial figures, 
The bags likely held tools symbolic of the gods' knowledge, blessings, or divine capabilities. Perhaps these containers represent treasured secrets or metaphysical powers not accessible by ordinary humans. An alternate theory suggests they function more practically as vessels for carrying ancient devices or medicines indicative of advanced understanding, bringing knowledge down to humanity under the guiding hands of the gods. But unless a Rosetta Stone arises to translate their original significance, the handbag's meaning stays elusively slung across the shoulders of the eternal deities. Number 13. Giant Blue Eye of Africa Westward through the Sahara's endless dunes glares an enormous eye etched vividly upon the landscape discernible from high above. A strange circular formation over 30 kilometers wide, known as the Richat structure or Eye of Africa. While the giant bullseye shape seems supernaturally perfect, its origins stem from entirely natural processes still raising questions among geologists. The concentric bands ringing the pupil loop almost mathematically, giving the formation an uncanny degree of symmetry. This results from gradual uplift and subsequent erosion wearing away the elevated dome of the rock. However, uncertainties remain about what initially caused the circular doming approximately 60 million years ago and why the eye shape eroded so evenly. From the heavens, the all-seeing aspect evokes cosmic associations with mystical entities like the Egyptian god Horus, the divine personification of the sky. Some sci-fi narratives have imagined the eye as a portal left by ancient aliens. Of course, no evidence supports such fantastic conjectures. Yet the eye retains a quality of visual symbolism and scale-provoking imaginative speculation about humanity's place beneath such a colossal planetary gaze. Number 12. Mysterious Staircase Near the renowned Giza pyramids, archaeologists made a perplexing and ominous discovery. A stone staircase leading alarmingly down a narrow, eight-foot shaft, terminating in an underground dead-end chamber. This mysterious passage and its stairway seem specially constructed to conceal something important or to protect it from unwelcome visitors. But the riddle of who built it and its purpose remains unsolved. Carved out of bedrock, the hidden stone passageway descends at a steep angle impossible to casually notice from above. Its depth would require a daring explorer to clamber down by rope. Any contents from past centuries would be sealed away from the outside world. At the bottom chamber, archaeologists found the space heavy with moisture and without inscriptions that could provide clues. The most telling evidence is the architectural precision of the stairway itself. Each slab step was custom carved and angled to permit descent, a complex engineering feat suggesting great purpose and resources. Some experts suggest the Romans, after invading Egypt, had the know-how to construct such a structure. But the lack of any artifacts points to the originating builders who took care to leave behind no traces. Perhaps the hidden passage was meant as an escape route or for funeral rites to honor entombed secrets safely stowed in the lower depth. Its resemblance to underground passages in pyramids implies the architects intended it as the only entrance to something of profound importance. The riddle endures untold centuries later of what truths the stairs guarded that warranted such architectural ingenuity just to obscure it from history's gaze. Number 11. Thorny Devil Lizards The deserts of Australia are home to one of the most bizarre-looking lizards on Earth, Moloch the Thorny Devil. With its spiky skin, conical face, and ability to channel water into its mouth, this iconic desert creature has evolved an impressive repertoire of adaptations to thrive in the dry climate. Specializing in dining on ants and termites, the thorny devil's entire body functions as an intricate system optimized for life in the desert. Protruding spines allow it to collect moisture from any morning dew that condenses on its skin from humidity, channeling it toward the mouth. The thorny texture also camouflages it against predators by mimicking inedible plants. Even its face is shaped like a cone to form a point optimal for scraping ants up from the hard-packed sandy soil. The lizard's skin exhibits remarkable color-changing abilities as well. Pigment cells allow it to shift between pale yellow during the day to darker hues at night, regulating body temperature. When frightened, the thorny devil turns jet black instantly to warn off threats. All these highly specialized traits make it a quintessential example of nature's ingenuity in sculpting life to thrive in Australia's extreme desert niches. Walking through the sun-scorched outback, a thorny devil seems almost like an alien creature perfectly designed for survival there. It carries millennia of evolved mastery in its strange physique, 
having persisted through the harshest environmental pressures while so many other species faded away. This tenacious little lizard shall continue exploiting its myriad evolutionary innovations far into the future across the timeless Australian interior. Number 10. Alien Claw Reports from the remote desert caverns of Peru describe an alleged mummified three-fingered hand with strange anomalies that challenge human physiology. Dubbed the alien claw, the specimen was supposedly found by paranormal researchers, though most consider it an obvious hoax. But mysteries around the hand's anatomy provoke doubt either way. The claw is an unnatural pale gray, measures approximately 12 inches long, and exhibits unusual bulbous fingertips probably meant to suggest suction cups. What appears to be metal implants show under x-rays protruding from each knuckle, and the wrist terminates in an irregular stump. However, contrary to expectations, no arm bones whatsoever extend from the wrist into the forearm. If authentic, this would eliminate the possibility of it being human, along with its oversized palms and abnormal digits. Believers cite it as evidence of extraterrestrials, while skeptics dismiss it outright as an intentional fabrication. Number 9. Fairy Circles like portals to another realm, Florida-sized clouds of mysterious barren patches called fairy circles pockmark the desert grasslands of Namibia. These enigmatic openings, ranging from 6 to 50 feet in diameter, weave spiderweb patterns across the landscape only to vanish again after decades. And the debate rages on among scientists as to how these mystical bald spots spontaneously generate. The whimsical name refers to local imaginings of gnomes or ghosts, leaving their ethereal fingerprints on the land. But scientific explanations for the bare patches center on plants battling it out for resources. One leading theory argues that the original tilde clump grasses slash subtly poison their own surroundings to inhibit competition, leaving the circular dead zones. However, soil analysis does not show clear chemical differences inside and outside fairy circles to support this. A more recent hypothesis implicates sand termites tunneling underground, feeding on grass roots and unintentionally creating barren patches above their subterranean colonies. Yet, fairy circles also arise in areas lacking termite populations. The mystery deepens as some plants like Stipagrostis seemingly thrive along fertile ring perimeters before the whole pattern suddenly disappears. Currently, no consensus explains fairy circles' life cycle, strange geometry, and temporary nature. The combination of improbable round shapes emerging synchronously across such large zones remains scientifically confounding. Like their mythical namesakes, the fairy circles seem periodically active by impish forces, weaving ephemeral patterns through the ancient African sands that vanish as mysteriously as they appeared. Number 8. Ghost Town of Kolmanskop in the southern coastlands of Namibia lies an eerie ghost town consumed by the desert, a crumbling relic of the early 1900s German colonial diamond rush known as Kolmanskop. Once a sparkling gem among remote African settlements, Kolmanskop became abandoned to the creeping dunes that have submerged nearly the entire town over decades. Kolmanskop was founded in 1908 when a railway worker found diamonds scattered amid the sand. Quickly, German prospectors swarmed the surrounding desert, turning an isolated outpost into a German-style oasis with ballrooms, shops, salons, a hospital, and grand homes. Yet by the 1920s, the diamond deposits started dwindling. Within decades, Kolmanskop was deserted as the townspeople left for greener opportunities. They departed so swiftly that many structures remained fully furnished and stocked with supplies, soon becoming time capsules reclaimed slowly by sand. Photos from the 1950s show staircase railings terminating in mid-air, chimneys poking from oceans of drifting silt, and debris half-swallowed by the invading dunes. Doors whip open to reveal rooms blockaded in the sand. Shawls and dresses lay still draped over chairs from when their owners last hurried off into the forsaken distance. Now, over 60 years later, Kolmanskop stands about half devoured by the Namib. Furniture spills from second-story windows into heaps of collected sand. Animal tracks crisscross carpeted rooms softened into wavy dune shapes. While colonization has faded, nature's patient hand unveils its true monument, one grain at a time reclaiming its realm. Number 7. Ancient Footprints a monumental discovery in 2021 upended archaeologists' timelines about when the first humans arrived in the Americas. In White Sands National Park, 
Fossilized human footprints were identified dating back over 23,000 years, thousands of years earlier than previous estimates. This cemented firm proof that humans inhabited the New World during the last Ice Age, expanding scientific models for how early ancestral humans spread globally. The distinctive tracks were imprinted in soft clay sediment along ancient wetlands that later fossilized. Ancillary seeds and ecological clues dated the layer conclusively between 22,800 and 21,130 years ago. This places humans in New Mexico well before the end of the Ice Age, when previous wisdom suggested human migration happened only 13,000 years back across the Bering Strait land bridge as glaciers retreated. It now appears the standard narrative is wrong. Humans had dispersed deeper into the Americas prior to the glacial maximum, meaning they adapted to and inhabited much more severe icy climes at the peak of the last ice age. They trekked into lands much earlier than thought possible, refuting notions that impassable glacial barriers blocked entry till much later thaws opened the gateway to the Americas. These precious fossil tracks redraw humanity's arrival and expansion through the new world by over 10,000 years. Moreover, they cemented human presence in the Americas during an era mysteriously unaccounted for in genetics or artifacts. As with any remarkable find, the footprints point toward deeper revelations awaiting us underfoot about our forgotten past and legacy on this planet. Number 6. Mojave Megaphone Defying explanation, a strange object resembling a giant megaphone sits conspicuously atop a remote hill in California's Mojave Desert. The anomalous object is approximately six feet long, weighs over 100 pounds, and has no clear purpose or origin. This so-called Mojave megaphone lies enshrouded in mystery, inviting speculation about what it could signify. The giant metal structure is composed of two fused conical sections, giving it the classic shape of a horn or megaphone. It was discovered mounted prominently on 100-foot-tall mound of stones, facing outwards as if placed intentionally to amplify sound or transmit signals. However, the object itself emits no noises and has no electrical components. Geological evidence indicates the megaphone has been in place for over a decade, yet no records exist explaining its construction or placement. Conspiracy theories abound, ranging from paranormal to extraterrestrial explanations. Some believe it was left as a dire warning from the military or government about imminent dangers such as nuclear fallout headed for nearby populations. Others suggest it served as experimental equipment related to top-secret aviation research at the nearby Edwards Air Force Base. More radical notions propose the object as a cosmic homing beacon or energy focusing device installed by visiting alien spacecraft. Of course, skeptics argue it is just an elaborate prank or an obscure modern art piece. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the cinematic realm of Hollywood, where colossal worms emerge from the depths of the earth, reality often seems stranger than fiction. But there is a new, terrifying discovery in desert that scares scientists. In 2018, strange reports surfaced from the Namib Desert, detailing eyewitness accounts of massive worms appearing from the ground and then retreating. Some villagers even claimed that these creatures affected their entire village. The scene described eerily resembled something out of the Dune franchise. While unconfirmed, the potential existence of such creatures both captivates and terrifies us. What are your thoughts on this? Could colossal creatures like these actually exist? Share your opinions in the comments below. Number 5. Whale Graveyard the arid coastal deserts of Chile seem an unlikely place to unearth the bones of numerous ancient whales, but in the Atacama region, excavations have revealed a mysterious whale graveyard dating millions of years into the past across multiple die-off events. What drew so many whales to perish in this area? Scientists uncovered four distinct layers clustered with whale skeletons, spanning a small 1.5-kilometer zone along the coast indicating episodic catastrophic events coincidentally converged at this particular spot. The mature and juvenile specimens ranged up to 18 feet long, representing extinct baleen ancestors of modern whales. After analyzing the fossil evidence, the leading theory for these mass whale fatalities involves harmful algal blooms that can proliferate near coastlines. Toxins from the blooms would have sickened whales as they fed in the area before weakening and suffocating in the nearby shallows. The Atacama's marine nutrients apparently created a whale trap luring the mammals to their demise. It serves as a cautionary paleontological lesson about the dangers of concentrated toxins, even for Earth's most enormous creatures. 
While these whales could not escape their fate, their bones impart scientific clues and reminders of how fragile life has always been when the environment turns. What other revelations remain buried along Chile's coast, awaiting their turn to surface? Number 4. Marfa Lights Mysterious glowing orbs called the Marfa Lights consistently rise over the desert outside the remote West Texas town after which they're named, defying explanation. These luminous spheres the size of basketballs shimmer in the darkness, merge, split apart, dart rapidly, or hover stationary. Their erratic movements have fascinated eyewitnesses and imaginations for generations. According to local Native American legends, the Marfa Lights were fallen stars from the heavens. Early European settlers imagined them as the campfire flames of Spanish conquistadors or Apache tribes. Today, many still believe the elusive lights represent the souls of those who perished tragically in the desert, condemned to roam endlessly. Others conjecture hidden geology like gas emissions or magnetic fields naturally create self-illuminating spheres. Of course, the most sensational theories speculate the orbs as extraterrestrial or interdimensional alien spacecraft concealing their full forms in concentrated balls of energy. Conclusive evidence validating any one theory remains scarce, ensuring the Marfa lights retain their their aura of mystery across the empty West Texas nightscape. Whether natural, paranormal, or otherworldly in origin, the Marfa Light's persistent reappearances compel our gaze skyward in wonder at the cosmos' unresolved riddles. Number 3. Dead Sea Scrolls Within caves scattered near the Dead Sea, ancient writings revolutionized the understanding of Jewish and early Christian history after their chance discovery in the 1940s. These fragmented manuscripts dated back 2,000 years to the Second Temple period, yet survived mysteriously preserved amid the desert climate. What other insights might they still reveal? The collection of parchment and papyrus scrolls contains exegesis of Hebrew scripture, extra-canonical compositions related to the Essene sect, and obscure esoteric treatises on magic and mysticism. But the most cryptic remains the copper scroll found among the collection, etched onto copper sheets in an era when parchment was common. Unlike the others, the copper scroll uses a strange, undeciphered dialect of Hebrew to record a compelling secret list of 64 hidden stashes of gold and silver precious artifacts throughout the Holy Land. Despite expeditions to locate them, the treasure's whereabouts stay frustratingly concealed. What was the Copper Scroll's cryptic purpose? Who authored it? And why does it confound translation compared to the other Dead Sea Scrolls? Until further insights arise, the Copper Scroll persists as an intellectual puzzle from antiquity awaiting resolution. But the longer it withholds its secrets, the more alluring the mystery grows. Number 2. Sri Yantra Geoglyph In August of 1990, an astonishing discovery was made in a remote dry lake bed in Oregon when a massive ancient Hindu mandala known as the Sri Yantra was spotted etched into the earth. The geometric pattern, perfectly proportioned and encompassing over 1,300 feet in diameter, seemed to defy explanation as to its origin given its pristine condition and sheer scale. The Sri Yantra is composed of interlocking triangles and frames, a central point or bindu, representing the metaphysical union of masculine and feminine principles. Revered in Hindu traditions for its association with Lakshmi and prosperity, the Sri Yantra symbol is carefully constructed based on mathematical ratios found in the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. Intricately rendered, it requires great precision to accurately draw the full diagram on paper, let alone emblazon on such an epic scale on uneven terrain. Yet here it was, perfectly proportioned and aligned to the cardinal directions despite the uneven terrain. Upon discovery, speculation swirled that it was the work of extraterrestrials harnessing advanced energetic or sound wave technologies unknown to modern science. Others felt the Sri Yantra was mystically imprinted by intersecting ley lines, conducting subtle electromagnetic frequencies. Less than a week after its original sighting, a group of four artists arrived to claim responsibility for etching the Sri Yantra into the dry lake bed. Led by Bill Witherspoon, they said they pulled off the remarkable feat using only sticks, ropes, and boards to imprint the lines. Skeptics questioned whether such rudimentary tools could have achieved such perfect symmetry and scale. Number 1. 
East Africa Rift. The African continent as we know it today may look vastly different in just a few million years, as intense geological forces continue to tear open a massive rift valley down its eastern flank. This giant gash in Earth's crust runs over 3,000 miles from northern Ethiopia to central Mozambique and signifies the dramatic breakup of the unified landmass into two separate plates amid the violent birthing pains of new oceans. Known as the East African Rift System, its origins derive from a hotspot of magma welling up to thin and stretch the continental crust along eastern Africa through the power of mantle plumes and plate tectonics. As the heated region swells and cracks, fissures form allowing molten rock to seep toward the surface, opening a widening valley down the length of the land mass. Currently, the rift zone already spans over 30 miles wide and drops to over 10,000 feet at its deepest points. This is the new terrifying discovery in desert that scares scientists. Within the next three to four million years, scientists predict that the eastern portion of the continent will completely rip apart from the main African plate. However, the effects of this continental rifting will start to show up early and could include earthquakes, the formation of rift valleys, and changes in the landscape. This will allow the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden to fuse northward all the way through Ethiopia, effectively cleaving Africa in two. The resultant island continent will then slowly drift away over many more eons, like South America's separation from Africa 200 million years ago. In the meantime, seismic tremors and volcanic activity concentrated along the active rift valley will make East Africa increasingly prone to earthquakes and lava flows. The stress and jostling of Earth's mightiest tectonic forces are on full display, as witnessed by the birth of an eventual new ocean before our eyes where once there stood unified land. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.